Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. Some sad news to report. Um, Ted Dabney, one of the co-founders of Atari and uh, co-designer of this computer space machine with Nolan Bushnell, uh, just recently passed away. Uh, just happened this week and uh, he was 81. I believe he was struggling with cancer, so it was very sad. Um, so I just thought, well, you know what? In order to pay proper tribute to uh, Ted and his legacy, why don't we have a game of computer space in his honor? Um, I actually have been in touch with Ted Dabney. I've had a very cool experience. I'll just uh, pan around the sexy machine here. Um, years ago, I had um, I was surprised to hear my website, uh, Computer Space Fan being mentioned on a podcast, and one of the fellows uh, in that podcast, uh, Scott Schreiber, he got in touch with me because he also had a computer space machine, and he was always wondering, uh, hey, I've got some suggestions, or I've got some, some needs for a fix, so can I try out a few things, and we've sent messages back and forth. Scott's a really great guy. I actually met him and his cohorts at the podcast that he's now a member of, uh, at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, the show is now Retro Gaming Roundup, which uh, you can see I got a picture here with Scott and UK Mike. Uh, he's one of the co-hosts as well. So, uh, what happened is uh, Scott was interviewing Ted Dabney uh, for one of the episodes and he suggested, hey Ted, have you ever heard of computerspacefan.com? Here's the guy's website, uh, and Ted actually emailed me and said, Hey man, I, I really like uh, what you've done there with the, the history of this machine and all about it. And I was really thrilled. I was like, my goodness, Ted Dabney, the co-designer of this machine. This is awesome. I had questions, and he was very nice to answer them. Things about, um, and I've mentioned this on my website, the score system does this weird thing where it'll go into hexadecimal mode sometimes. Um, I was asking Ted about uh, why is it some of the computer space machines have like a key little hole in the center there. Mine doesn't. Uh, sorry for the shakiness. Um, and yeah, basically Ted has been really, really gracious and very kind to answer questions and be in touch with me about a variety of things. One of the coolest bits of communication I had with Ted was actually the last time that I spoke with him. I actually got an email uh, on my website, here it is, I've talked about it before, computerspacefan.com, and uh, I got this strange email from a Rayford Guns or Gwens, um, somebody who suggested I get in touch with you. I have an article being published in Oxford University Press's Journal of Design Culture. The article is on the design of coin ops, and I'd like to include the promotional flyer for computer space uh, within my piece, and the editors wish to also use the image on the cover. Do you happen to know who owns the copyright on the flyer? In the US, it would fall under fair use, however, the UK works different, uh, works according to fair dealing, which may require proof of permission. Any assistance would be greatly appreciated. And I replied back, I said, uh, gosh, Rayford, I'm, I'm not sure about that, but let me get you in touch with Ted Dabney and uh, see what he suggests. And Ted's reply is right here. Uh, Rayford Gwens, or Goons. Uh, Ted Dabney here, co-founder of Atari. As far as I know, nothing about computer space was ever copyrighted. The only one that would have had a copyright was Nutting Associates, and they've not been around for a very long time. Good luck on your project, Ted. That is from uh, September 2015. And then the final reply from Rayford was, Hi Kevin, uh, thanks. I just received an email from Ted Dabney. Do I have you to thank for this? And I said yes. Uh, so yeah, I actually got Ted Dabney in touch with somebody uh, from Oxford University, which was a very cool experience for me. So to pay tribute to the memory of Ted Dabney, let's have a game of computer space, which he developed with Nolan Bushnell, and the two of them went on to make Atari, and the rest is history. Let's play some of that history right now. For you, Ted. Uh, 
important this game is. Evenly matched. And they're ahead. And they're well ahead of me. No, no. defeated. 8 to 11-ish points. You can keep uh, score yourself. But yeah, there we go. For Ted Dabney and all that he created, a game of computer space. Rest in peace, Ted. And until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.